Hi developers, in this video we'll learn how to access the camera using summary forms so that we can uh, take photos or videos then we can choose uh, and um, get these uh, photos in order to show them inside uh, a content page in summary forms. So the demo we want to build today uh, looks like this one. So here as I have this uh, application. So um, here I have these uh, buttons for taking a photo or a video, then picking a photo or a video. So if I click take a photo, then uh, here I will get, because here I am running on the emulator, uh, I get um, this uh, screen that is displaying like uh, sample images. When I hit uh, click choose the photo, hit OK. Then it will choose that uh, photo here and here it will display also that image path for that photo. The same thing for the video. I can go and take uh, a video, hit register, registering the video, stopping. Then I can get after that I can get that uh, registered video here. I think it's still running that uh, video. So here, because um, as you see in the emulator, I cannot access the camera unless I configure um, the emulator to access the PC camera. For that, I have here plugged my uh, real Samsung device as you see it here uh, and here I'm mirroring the uh, user interface from my Samsung device here I have the four buttons so here if I go and uh, hit take a photo then you see here I get that photo from my Samsung uh, camera hit E choosing that photo now you see um, the photo will uh, change to the one I have uh, taken. Just a while. So here it is, my new uh, photo. And also you get after that photo the, uh, the image for that uh, photo, the, the path for that photo. And the same thing for, for the video. I can take uh, a video, hit uh, register. So it's now registering. Uh, the video, if I hit stop, then I will click in OK, then I will be able to access that video. Here I didn't um, put that uh, video because here I will need uh, a video player and unfortunately until now Zamari Forms doesn't um, have that uh, video player available in, uh, in Zamari Forms. So here yeah, I am just showing the uh, path for that video. So let's take a look at what this code of this application looks like. So here, um, I'm going to display this page first. So here, uh, Xamarin Forms uh, accepts contributions from a community to build uh, uh, plugins. One uh, and the media plugin was one of these contributions. For that, you will find in this URL uh, the link and the documentation and even the source code for this uh, plugin. You find here uh, how to use this plugin. And what I have did for this application is just uh, copying this uh, code and um, reading this tutorial and just copying the code available here. So what this code have? So it tells that the first thing to do is to install the plugin which is available as a NuGet package inside our solutions. For that, we'll need to go to the solution, right click, hit manage NuGet packages for solution, and then we should go to Bruce and look for a plugin called Zam dot, um, dot plugin dot plugin dot uh, media so here it is we should uh, install this plugin inside all our supported uh, projects 
And here I have it installed for that I have the install button uh, disabled but for you you will need to install that plugin inside all your uh, chosen projects. After that you will have uh, to write code for each platform so for main activity you will need to go to the main activity and add the, this line of code await crossmedia.current.initialize which will initialize this uh, component for Android you write it inside your main uh, activity and because this is um, this code uses await you will, know, you will need to make your onCreate method um, assigned and the same thing for the other platforms so for UWP inside the app.zaml.cs I have added that uh, code here uh, somewhere inside the on launch it or yeah here it is so it's await cross media current initialize and of course we don't forget to add the async keyword to the name of that method after that because here this plugin will try to access the camera then um, that means we'll need to ask for permissions to use the camera for android you will need to make sure that you will pick um, in android.manifest you will have to add uh, the, to ask for the permission to uh, access uh, the camera so here let me close and reopen uh, the properties for the android project so right click properties and let's go to the tab that uh, where we can ask for these permissions we go here to android uh, manifest and inside my android manifest you find here all the um, all the device or all the hardware capabilities for our android project here we should look for some ones and uh, add them as capabilities uh, in the newer version of this uh, plugin uh, we don't need to do this because that plugin will add those capabilities uh, automatically for us so we don't need to do this in the newer uh, version but for uh, Windows I think we should we have to do uh, that manually so we go to package.apix manifest and here we should pick uh, the webcam here inside this uh, capabilities uh, menu so by doing that on each uh, platform then we can go to uh, our PCN, our portable uh, project and here inside this uh, main page um, where we start uh, writing code here I have added the code for these four uh, buttons a code for uh, an image and for a label to display the path of the image or for the video so what take a photo uh, does this code uh, points to this um, uh, click event so let's go to that go to implementation so take a photo this is a very simple code here we'll need again to call the uh, crossmedia.current.initialize after that here we are checking if that uh, hard of that device have the camera available and we can take uh, a photo if yes then we go and um, and then this code a little bit if yes then we we'll go and just uh, use this cross media object dot current dot take photo async this one will pass a parameter or we pass an option to tell that uh, after taking the picture we want to save it inside the album if you don't want to do that then you can uh, specify a custom uh, path for you so you can specify here the directory and the name of your image otherwise um, Xamarin will uh, pick a default name for your um, photo then um, so take photo async this method will take the photo will will just open a new uh, intent will open the camera up, will take a photo, then it will return that photo that you have uh, you have picked 
the total will be put inside the uh, file variable which uh, we can access its uh, properties which is uh, album path that will give, give us the path for the uh, taken image after that I'll get um, I take that image and display it inside my main image which is um, my XAML uh, my XAML component here main image I'm going to display the image using the source uh, property which will go to uh, to that um, uh, which will try to uh, show that image inside uh, the image XAML uh, component so this is the code for taking an image here we have also the second button for picking a photo which is um, the code is uh, inside this event handler here so again we'll have to uh, call crossmedia.current.initialize then we are uh, we ask if the uh, device supports uh, picking photos if yes then we go and uh, open the dialog for picking photo so here it will open the dialog specific for each uh, platform Once we have picked a photo, we'll take the path of that photo and display it inside our text. Then uh, we'll try to um, again display that photo inside an image, uh, an image XAML uh, component. The third button is for taking a video and the fourth one is for picking a video and those looks uh, similar to taking photo and picking photos except that uh, instead of saying here I want to take a photo here I'm asking to take a video I think and here I have some other uh, parameters related to videos like the quality here I can choose between uh, medium sorry I can choose between a uh, high low uh, media uh, medium then they have some other uh, parameters which we can see here so desired land the directory name uh, the size So this is it, the code for taking a photo and for uh, picking a photo. That code runs, as we have seen here, inside our Android projects and also inside the um, here uh, the Windows 8 uh, projects. So let's try it on uh, Windows 8 here. So I bring this here, take a photo. It will open. Um, uh, it will open the dialog for taking a photo and unfortunately here because i'm using the cam with my uh, recorder i cannot access the cam because the recorder is um, ready uh, using it but i can go and pick a photo let's choose this photo for example and you see here i can access all the uh, all the files uh, available in my windows 10 file system so let's choose this photo for example and here you see i have uh, the path displayed for that uh, image the same thing for taking a video and again I, can, I will not be able to access the cam but I can of course pick another uh, video and by looking inside the file system here so this is it the, um, the sample for um, taking a photo and picking a photo using XAML forms and again if you need more information about that then uh, you should go to this uh, github project and here you will get uh, more details about uh, using these uh, plugins so with this I hope this was helpful for you and thank you